When you order an Armor Power Flex, this is how it arrives. The box is roughly two foot by one foot by one foot. The box is pretty plain. It has some Rockwell Automation logos on the side. The important thing on the outside of the box is this sticker, which has the drive catalog number. This drives a 35S. The S stands for safety. It also shows the serial number, the firmware rev. And it's also got this QR code that you can scan, which will take you to our website where you can download manuals about the product. All in all, the box is pretty plain, but we'll go ahead and open the box up. Inside the box, you see the drive is wrapped in styrofoam and plastic. The important thing inside the box is this package, which has the safety jumper and some caps for any unused I.O. In a later video, we'll talk about when this jumper is needed, but this jumper can be an important component, so please don't lose it. So now we'll go ahead and remove the drive out of the box. Once it's out of the box, you can see that the drive is a panel mount style design, so it's got standoffs on both the top and the bottom. Over here on the right hand side you have a local disconnect to disconnect line power. Underneath you've got line power in and line power out connection points. It's a pigtail design, so line power comes in on the left and goes out on the right. You've got the connection for the motor and EM brake as well as the dynamic brake resistor connection. Comms and standard I.O. are on the left side including the dual gigabit ethernet ports. Safety I.O. is on the opposite side seen here in red. The important thing to note on the outside of the drive is this nameplate sticker here on the side. It's got similar information that was on the outside of the box, the drive catalog number, serial number. The sticker also has the drive's power rating, the voltage and current ratings, as well as there's this QR code on the front that will take you to our website where you can download more information about the product.